Hi guys, welcome to Code Artisan Lab. This is our ninth video for Laravel blogging website. And in this video, we will discuss about the Blade Template Engine. We will create the common layout for our admin dashboard. Uh, recently, we have created our admin manage category, and you have seen that we have uh, uh, create every time new HTML page, every time we have created a title, and every time we have defined the assets backend link. But now uh, in this video, we will create a common functionality for a uh, common layout for our all templates. So let's let's uh, do this. That let's learn that how to do this. So the first thing I have opened my uh, dashboard template and uh, I will create a new file here. And uh, I will create a in the views folder. I will create a layout. Uh, I will not. Uh, okay, so I will create a layout layout dot blade dot php okay and in this in this layout I will what I will do I will copy the this header and sidebar so like for, uh, before the content wrapper I will copy whole thing whole things and I will paste it in the layout and then yeah, this is our content wrapper so this content wrapper will I will also uh, let's do this uh, I will now I will copy this footer I will copy this footer copy the whole thing and paste it after this file now our content will now our content will appear here so I will add content Okay. and now we have a dashboard so I will open this and now what we will do here what we need to do we will here put yield and I will put the content so this will load the content when we extend this layout template this will load the content so what we need to do in the dashboard template we will add add at the it extends and I will extend the layout and here we will add the section so we will add the content section so content and here we have a this is the content wrapper div so I will take this from dashboard and put it in the content here in this section in the layout section now our content will so these so this is the syntax if you are extending the template okay now let's let's check the dashboard so I will go to the dashboard actually this is the link uh, we need to put it here dashboard okay so let's verify this link from the from the route so I will go to the route web so this is the actually we don't uh, we haven't create the route actually for the dashboard so here we, we what we will do here I'll put admin but we have created the dashboard so let's if we have not created then we need to create this so in the HTTP controller in the admin section we have a dashboard method but why we have not added so let's add this so I will add it here and I will put it here admin dashboard and from the admin controller admin controller class I will put the class dashboard okay so let's refresh this and let's refresh with the dashboard URL so now you can see here we have a now we have we are extending the template this is the dashboard template now we will uh, do the same thing for our categories uh, our categories template that we have recently created in our previous video so I will close the all things and just I will put it the 
uh, like dashboard now i will open the category panel i will open the category templates resource uh, views backend and then i'll open the category and first of all i will open the index so what i will do i will remove this all things i will remove content wrapper i will remove this and then i will minimize this and i will remove whole thing and now what we need to do we just need to copy this code and i will put it here and the same thing i will do at the rate and section okay so let's go to the category so first we need to set this url for the category so here we need to put the url so the url will be admin slash category and for add new url we need to put category create okay so let's go to the view all section so this is the thing we have matched the things we need to set it uh, set the things so we have let's uh, let's uh, container fluid we have a container fluid actually the dashboard and the all the uh, and the category template is different so we need to check this so we need i will check this and here what i will do uh, actually content wrapper so let's remove this i will first of all i will remove this and then i will remove uh, so this is the wrapper so where is the it is the div okay so let's remove this content wrapper okay let's undo this and uh, okay this is the wrapper we don't need this okay let's uh, let's uh, remove this then we will we will do all the things okay and now what we need to do this is the content wrapper so we will remove this and now we have a content wrapper and uh, but we need to put it so this is the div wrapper content wrapper we have a content wrapper so we don't need the content wrapper okay and uh, uh, we don't need the footer okay so let's see okay, we will put it here and section okay so let's see this okay now we have settled uh, the template we have settled up the uh, list template category list template so we will do the same thing for our add for our add section so i will open the add and update section and now i will remove the container wrapper so we will remove this we just need the container fluid so we will remove all the things here okay and uh, yeah so and in the update we will do the same thing i just want to clarify all the things so that i am creating this separate video for the extending the template okay so now we need we will remove this also and now we will copy this and uh, in the end section we'll copy this and for the same for same thing for the update template and put it here okay so now let's verify this so we don't have any category yet so now we will add new so add new is working uh, add new is working correctly now let's add category 1 and the detail is category 1 and uh, we need the images actually we need images so what we will do 
so i will open the j and i will put the images like my images i will put it my images so what i'm selecting here actually let's uh, i don't want to add the image so let's just add the simple files simple actually category let's add the simple category so without adding image it is saying that undefined variable so let's fix this we can fix this so in the in the blog app http controller category controller and in the add if it has file then this else we will put we will put it here not available okay not available we'll put the uh, not available file and let's add so this will be category one and this is category one detail and let's submit so it is saying uh, it is saying data has been submitted now if you go to the list page then here we have uh, things and now you'll go to the update then update is also working so in this video i just want to show you that how we can create the common layout for the templates in laravel so i hope you understand all the things and uh, if you understand all the things and if i am doing all the things correctly please like the video and if you have not subscribed the channel then please subscribe the channel and thank you for watching this video thank you so much uh, let's uh, let's uh, let's work in the next video let's see in the next video so for now thank you so much